Okay, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we are finally checking out the Secant Filaments. They give you a Devouring Rift. So casting an Empowering Rift will grant you Devour. Damage dealt by you and your allies within your Empowering Rift will disrupt combatants. I don't think the second part's that relevant in PvP, but I could put an Empowering Rift down and get Devour. And then if I keep getting kills, I will obviously top up Devour and keep getting my health back. So this seems like a really strong combo. Uh, for the sake of this, I'm actually busting out a 120 RPM hand cannon, which aren't that common anymore. You don't see them everywhere, but I'm hoping that the 20% devouring or sorry the 20 percent empowering rift increase will give us enough to two tap with this igneous hammer this would also work with the dead man's tail so maybe we'll throw a dead man's tail on if we get a big map but uh i wanted to use a 120 because i haven't used one in so long so i think we're going to start with the igneous and the reckless and then maybe bring back my old school 8,000 kill true prophecy and throw it on with the matador so these are two loadouts i plan on using if the dmt comes out it comes out here are the mods hand cannon stuff uh, we have shotgun scav. I don't know why that's on my chest piece. That'll get changed. I also think I should really quickly mention that this is the way my subclass is set up. And importantly, uh, I do have Echo of Persistence on, so my Devour will have an increased duration. But uh, yeah, I'm really excited to try these out. I've used them a bunch in PvP. Let's see how they do in PvP. Let's get into it. It's time to take these things for a spin in PvP. I'm pretty excited to try these out, honestly. Bro, one of you gotta die. Get Devour. No. That's so unlucky. I don't have the fucking range for the or amount of bullets for this. I have eight in the mag. Struggling. Oh, I had Devour go in there too, and then I get sucked away by a nade. I have Devour still. That guy. Nice. All right, we have Devour going. No, oh, if I got that slide off, I would have survived. He was dead as well. I'm dead. Oh my god, I'm alive. We have Devour still. Nice. We can Devour up off that. Alright, so we're at 13 seconds on Devour. Can we get a kill? Extend that shit. Nice. Okay, okay. Now the nice thing is if it runs out, get a fresh one. No. About to get a feel for these towards the end of this game. I was throwing at the beginning, but these things do feel good. This is risky. Fuck it. Oh. I was going to end the game, so I just went for it. I should have regen first, but whatever. Game is over. GG, GG. Good first game. We dropped 42 with a 3.5. You're probably only going to see the second half of this game because I wasn't getting any Devour procs going, but now i got a feel for this. So first game, 42. Let's see if we can get a better one and keep some more Devour uptime. Okay, the plan was use a hand cannon, but we got Eternity. It's like, it's like the game wants me to. The DMT's out. It's time. Balance. Not only do we have this broken ass gun, we're also going to get our health back on every kill. No, oh, I could have got a fresh devour before it ran out. Down. 
Keep getting our health back from these kills. No. Dude, that's so unfortunate. Give me that. Guys, one shot. Nice. We're just holding down the long sight lines right now. Survive because of damage resist. Thank you, team. I was choking. Oh, I saw him too late. I hit him as he hit me, so I didn't get any flinch applied. I'm playing like a criminal play style. I'm, I'm the, right now, I'm the type of player I hate the most. I can't even lie. That man's tail is nerfed, by the way. Maybe they nerfed this too hard, bro. This doesn't seem good enough anymore. Like, look at this. I, I, I just don't think it's quite cutting it anymore. The issue we're doing this right now is that we're not even really taking damage. Because we're just sitting in uh we're just sitting in a rift two tapping people, so it's like we can't really see Devour doing that much. We're not taking damage to heal with Devour. There's two. Oh, bad shots on my part, we got him. This gun is still so fucked, bro. The Sightens. I don't want to peek in case. What? What's that hit, Reg? Okay. Please die to that. Devour. I'm so low. But do I not get a fresh devour unless I leave the rift and come back in? For game two, I'd say it went pretty well, but I also played like a freaking rat. I kind of hate myself for that. I definitely would have if I played against that. But uh, yeah, as you can see. Devour paired with a 120 RPM damage profile weapon is just freaking insane. We dropped 46 with a 5.75. It was bound to have like a pretty high efficiency just because I was playing so slow. Let's get into another one. Hopefully it's a bit more aggressive and I can use a 120 hand cannon instead of a DMT. It is a different day from when I was recording the other gameplays, but we're back. And we are back on the Devour build. Dude, 120 range is so good. Like even there. I'm not using the empowering buff or anything, it's just so nice sometimes. I haven't used a 120 in so long, but it do be nice. You get these longer range engagements. I just feel like 140 is just too good to not use right now. Well, three piece, we have Devour. Whoa, get me out of there. If we can get a kill, we'll get our health back, but there we go, alright, we are health back now, we're playing off Devour pretty well here. Keep topping that Devour up. Oh, he's one. Nice, okay, we just popped off. So, I also picked up another Heavy Brick, which is a dub. Can we get it on B in time is the question. Oh, that could be huge. A little two-piece, three, four, okay. Damn, bro, I, all I needed was, was a sleep. I'm recording this game the day after I... Well, a couple days after I recorded the first ones. Now, now we're getting the lobbies. Now I'm feeling it. Nice, we got the two tap. Nice, so we killed the guy in the corner. Devour for 20 seconds, bro. That's insane. Got one, we got Devour proc. Let's 
It was the Wii Ran. Yo! Oh, we did get the Wii Ran just before we died. It's a really good start to this game. Challenge this. He's not expecting me to be full health. That is terrifying. Give me a kill. Devour. Let me alone. Let me alone. Alright, we're going to get past this. I'm just going to dip. Go help my team out. The C fight. Dude, my movement sucks on Void. Holy shit. Guys, one HP. Nice, they got the finish. Alright, we're just going to play heavier, seeing as it's about to be up. Any teammates coming for it? I don't think so. Wow, I couldn't see him. He was like right behind my gun model. What I mean, man? With a 140 right there, I'm not doing any significant damage. Little two piece. We have another bomb ready. Oh, wait, sorry. We have heavy ready. I don't know why I'm saying another bomb. Might be a good axiom bolt. Looks like we got seekers out. Oh, hell no. I'm dead to that. Oh, I accidentally broke his ankles. I don't know what's happening. No way. I thought they were both on the stairs. They wouldn't be, like, just holding. I was going to try and get around that corner, pop a riff for Devour, and make a play, but I was the best part. That finish. I feel like the Igneous scope is so good. Like, if there's any 120 that is still S tier, it's got to be the Igneous, dude. It's really good. Plus, you can use Adept mods. And same base stats. Elemental Capacitor rolls are really fun, too. I know this isn't an Igneous video. It's a video on the boots, but... Things worth mentioning. Nice, we got that. All right. I get some devour going here. Or just die, we could do that too. Let me jump up and get a devour kill. No! Alright, there we go, devour. I'm triple capped, what the fuck? Got one with our last bullet. Where they at? Be with the teams. Uh, Devour's gonna go here, but we have another Rift, so we'll be able to get a fresh one. Got that now. I probably should use it on the stairs, but whatever. Doopies, where's my melee? But it's fine. The game's about to end anyway. And Nate over there. Try helping, but I think he's good. He's holding it down in his bubble. Never mind. I spoke too soon. Commentator's curse. I just want to hold this for a second, but I might get pushed to the left of the shotgun there. Right, there we go. Finally got that fight. It took a bit longer than I was expecting, but... Devour Rift. This guy's running at us. What? I'm not used to the lightweight frames, I guess. I had an empowering Rift there, too. And the child got us a kill. Let's go. Okay, GG. Really fun game. 120, I feel like Pacifica's a pretty good map for 120s, because there is close range angles, but you can play longer range angles if you want. We hopped on to finish this video off and we dropped a 51, so that's kind of nuts. Okay guys, thanks so much for watching today's video. The Seacamp filaments feel really good, I can't lie. I really didn't like, because before uh, the Void 3.0 changes, you could proc devour whenever you wanted by just holding your grenade and consuming it. I hated that it they got rid of a way to consume it on demand, but the Seacamp filaments do give you a way to do it, because obviously you can proc a rift and get devour instantly, and you cannot consume your grenade anymore, so it's really, really nice to be able to proc devour on demand, not have to get a void kill for it, because obviously this is way more consistent. <laughs> Uh, and you actually get your rift back pretty quick, so this is really fun. It's really, really nice to play around with the Devourer and Sixes again. Thank you guys so much for watching today. I really hope you enjoyed. Please be sure to like and subscribe. Comment down below what you want to see next. Comment down below what you think of these boots. I'm actually curious because I see a lot of heat on the Lowly Splendor Helm and the Renewal Grass. Not many people are talking about the Warlock Exotics. So uh, yeah, please let me know in the comments below. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace!